I had to eat shit like that. I had to, you know the worst food in the world has got to be liver. Don't you think so? Yeah. Oh, liver is some terrible shit. <laughs> Man, they want people to stop doing drugs. Make them eat liver for a week. <laughs> they don't never do any more drugs. <laughs> liver is the worst shit in the world. Almost as bad as moving. Moving. Moving is bad. You ever, anybody ever moving? <laughs> moving has got to be the worst thing you could do in the first. First of all, when you move, you find shit that don't even belong to you. <laughs> but like an asshole, what do you do? Pack it up. Take it home with me. Pack it up. <laughs> Man, I think moving has got to be. I wish you could just take a rope and put it on the apartment door and just pull it into the room. <laughs> so you wouldn't have to pack all that stuff up, you know? I think if you go out and shoot two or three people, the judge should say, uh, we're going to make you move. <laughs> cut down off the line. Did good, wouldn't it? Now, I wrote my jokes down on this little pad here. I can do it earlier. I can pass this some bitch around, whatever y'all want me to do. <laughs> pass it around? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Anything you want to talk about in particular? Oh, I don't talk about sex. <laughs> well, that's what, that's what you want to talk about, right? You mean like Dr. Ruth, right? <laughs> Dr. Ruth, you had a good sex with Dr. Ruth. Think about that for a few minutes. <laughs> I don't think so, huh? <laughs> it's kind of like good wine with cottage cheese, huh? <laughs> Could this lady possibly know so much about this? She's the most liberal person in the world. A guy called in the other day, he said, uh, I have a little problem, I'm having sex with animals. <laughs> <laughs> Are you using protection? <laughs> and the guy said, yeah, I have a gun. <laughs> Marcos. Poor man, he's in Hawaii now. Nobody wants this poor man. Isn't that terrible? The man doesn't have a place to go. Well, it was in the news tonight, you know, one city said they'd taken Cleveland, but he said, fuck that. He <laughs> didn't want to go to Cleveland. What is wrong with the world? The man doesn't have a place to go. Nobody wants him. I tell you one thing, the man, the man has ten billion dollars. <laughs> and I got a spare room that's on business. <laughs> <laughs> I bet some of you people got a spare room in there too, don't you? <laughs> yeah, and I'm looking at Mrs. Aquino. What's up, Mrs. Cory Aquino? She just got smiles all over her face. <laughs> she just found out she has the same shoe size as Mrs. Marco. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Who could wear 5,000 pairs of shoes? 2,000? Oh, just, I'm bullshitting everybody. It's free, actually, it's free. I said, well, that's what the news said, three, right? I mean, after you get past 20, what fucking difference does it make? Stuff. I just started going by it and I got a laugh. They probably won't even work tomorrow. <laughs> but it's funny tonight, you see. Mm -hmm. Now I have Sprint written down here. Does anybody own Sprint? Yeah. Nobody even know what Sprint is. Here, <laughs> you are you New Yorkers? Yeah. And you know what Sprint is, don't you? Yeah. Right. Okay, good. Okay. But see, I just found out tonight, some people in New York City don't even have cable TV. <laughs> the best city in the world most technological, whatever it is. I can't believe this place doesn't have cable. You got people down in Mississippi don't even know how to spell cable. <laughs> <laughs> and they have their yeah, homes. It's terrible in a city like this people live here and you don't have. Cable is one of the greatest things you can have, and especially at CNN. <coughs> right? You, you get used to watching it. I mean, some of the shit I talk about is not funny, but you know, I just want to throw it in. <laughs> 
lot of shit on this pad here, not funny. And yeah, I'm gonna do it. Everybody else is funny. You can see the other comedian, they'll be funny. Hell, I don't have to come up there and be funny. Shit. <laughs> Let somebody else do the dirty work. I'll just come up here and talk. So I have a script down here. Now, my problem is I wanna know what the hell is wrong with this telephone company. <laughs> and they told me, they told everybody in America that last year they spent over a billion dollars and improvements. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, that echo effect alone must have been around 80 million. <laughs> <laughs> and you throw in that crackling noise, I guess you're hooping around a billion, huh? Now, it's like an AT&T, you know, you can make a call 50 cents, you know, Sprint's supposed to be 25 cents. AT&T, you make a call, hello, Ma, this is George, happy birthday, I love you, goodbye. 50 cents. Okay, make your 25 cent sprint call. Hello, Mark. <laughs> Happy birthday. Do you have the echo effect? <laughs> no, I have that crackling sound. <laughs> My mother was yelling so loud the damn lady had a heart attack and died. <laughs> that call cost me $26. Piss me off. <laughs> the world is sick. Everybody's sick. <laughs> He's talking about those game shows too. Like uh, I watch Will of Fortune every day because I don't have a job. You know? <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the prizes on the Will of Fortune? <laughs> have you seen the prizes? The man says the other day the man won a lot of money. He says for four hundred and eighty-five dollars, <laughs> I'll take the pen and pencil set. <laughs> And give me that red comb for $230. <laughs> they can't get rid of that little ugly ceramic dog. You know? <laughs> and last week, the puzzle was, wait till your father gets home. Wait till, see, I don't know what kind of home you people came up in, but you know, I've never heard that in my house. You know? <laughs> my mother said, I'm kicking your ass. <laughs> Same from the south, we come up in a strange. Man, it's crazy, boy. Two things you didn't ever want to hear in your house is, didn't I tell you? <laughs> if you ever heard that, man, she'd be working on your ass. <laughs> didn't I tell you not to leave this house? No, you just gonna do it. And if it's backed up by, I ain't gonna tell you no more, she's really in your ass. <laughs> didn't I tell you not to leave this house? I ain't gonna tell you no more. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait till your father gets home. <laughs> You'd be glad when my father came home and take our asses to the hospital. <laughs> he was a freak too. He, you know, he punished us. He do some crazy shit. Like he used to take us to like Lion Country Safari and say, go ahead, get out me. <laughs> you all know my father, don't you? Everybody knows my father. He's the man who used to be out watering the lawn, you know, with the water holes and the, you know, sandals and the black socks, you know. <laughs> you know my father with his shorts on, you know, just one that cigar in his mouth. And his, he always had those shorts on, but his underwear, those boxer shorts, were rolling in the shorts. <laughs> But tease me about it, those boxer shorts in his mother. Those big underwear. Old man wear those, I guess, huh? I have on a. I guess I don't have any underwear on like <laughs> Can't afford underwear these days, can you? All right, let me go back to this list. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got down here old people driving. That's the worst thing in the world, isn't it? That should be a law. If you're over 30, no doubt. So let me move that up. Wait a minute, this man. Are you over 30? Just 30. Oh, you just me too. I'm 34. I'm older than you. Four years. I got you. You know, you start to feel good when you're around 35 or something. 34, 35. I would know. You, know, you will when you get that. First of all, you're eating three peanuts. Why are you eating them one at a time? It fucking bugs me when people eat one peanut. Like yeah, get a whole thing. That's the way you do it. Now you need a cup of cola, so no, they ain't it. Like that, you know. Peanuts. You know, that's what you get at the airport. There's two things they make at the airport. A lot of people think they, you know, they have flights at the airport. They make hot dogs at the airport and peanuts. You can give you those on the airplane. That one's funny, see? I just thought I'd put it in. <laughs> 
nice to see somebody get up here that's not all funny all the way through the whole thing. Well. I'm doing okay? Yeah. Are you kidding? You open your fucking mouth. One more time. <laughs> old people drive. Just curses a lot. See, old people's job is to piss you off. That's their job. <laughs> when they get in the car, that's their job is to piss you off. And they do a good job at it too. They start to piss me off when they get in the car, in the driveway. They're not in the street, in the driveway. <laughs> when they leave the driveway, they just you know, they never look over the shoulder. They just start going back, Jack. They just start going back going, hey, I'm old, I've seen it all. Yeah, yeah. Some old people, you know, like when you drive, you know, we have the hand signals out, you know. And some of the old ladies, you can't even see them, their head is, is below the dashboard. But they drive along the freeway, you can see that little hand signal. It's a crazy room. It's a crazy room. We got some problems in this country. You know what? I'm thinking, you know, in the next few years, what is the next election? Next, in 80, uh, 88? Oh, so they start next year, don't they? They get started next year. I should be in charge of this country. I make a lot of changes. First of all, all magazines will come out when they're supposed to come out. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of the July issue coming, of Playboy coming out in April. <laughs> I don't understand that shit. It's like tomorrow. You're going to see it happen again. How do they come out with the Sunday newspaper on Saturday? <laughs> Who knows this shit? <laughs> The Amazing Crescent. <laughs> you read the bitch words, that could screw you up real good. <laughs> and your girlfriend call you 3 o'clock in the morning going, ooh, <laughs> honey, you're going to die. <laughs> there's a lot of things I don't understand. I don't understand why there's more than one dog food. <laughs> on sale, that's what you do. <laughs> get away from me, you little snossage, just eating bastard. You get away from me. And you can put your ass in Sunday's newspaper next Saturday. Get away from me. Don't make it unconstitutional for dead people to release new movies, too. I'm sick and tired of Bruce Lee getting up out of the grave. There's new karate shit everywhere to read. <laughs> A lot of changes. I'll make it uh, a law passing legislation that says uh, on guaranteeing that uh, only the truth be permitted on personalized license plates. I pulled up behind a girl last night. I swear to God, her license plate said cutie pie. <laughs> pulled up next to her, her face looked like molded bread. <laughs> we have got to make some changes. <laughs> I'll make a law. Mandatory that uh, all Southern people answer questions in a more direct manner. <laughs> you go down south, you ask them a question, they ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, did you see the accident? Can a duck swim? <laughs> you go down south, Jack, all you need to know, say I'm from Atlanta, all you need to know is three phrases. I know that's right. <laughs> You got that right. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> That's all you gotta know down south, Jack. Goddamn Braves can't play baseball. You got that right. <laughs> I wish Horn would hit one out of here. I heard that. <laughs> Crazy word. <laughs> Another thing we have to do, too, we have to balance the budget. I don't know what has happened in the past 20 years. Since we've been a kid, man, this man right here with only 130 in the room. Since we've been a kid, they've been trying to balance the budget. I'm thinking to me, coming to myself, why can't they balance the budget? I was thinking the other day, if everybody in the country sent in $100, because we're $240 billion in the hole, if everybody sent in $100 each, we'd still be $220 billion in the hole, something like that. Yeah, that's right. Isn't that terrible? And I'm thinking, hey, we could, we could balance the budget. We could uh, 
have a garage sale. <laughs> well, let's call in Century 21 and sell some of this shit. Let's sell some shit we don't need. Let's sell West Virginia. <laughs> we got one Virginia. We don't need two Virginias. Oh, we got five great lakes we can do with four. Well, sell Lake Huron. Nobody knows where the fuck that is anyway. Go to the Smithsonian Institute, sell some of that old crap. <laughs> and since we sell no old crap, let's get rid of Nancy Reagan's ass. Let's sell it all. <laughs> and let's sell, half, let's sell half the shit owned by Beatrice too. <laughs> this lady has gone crazy. She went out, she bought water companies, shoe companies, everything. Auto rental cars. I saw the Mario and Dreaded Racing the other day, right on the car. Beatrice. I'm going to say, God damn, why don't this lady go back to Mayberry and leave us the fuck alone? <laughs> Beatrice. Every time you turn television and you see some crazy shit like that, then you see the army backing up. Be all that you can be. Oh, yeah, in the army. And that's about all you're going to be, too. <laughs> it's in there, but they make me sick. Our men do more by 9 a.m. than most people do all day. Then they show you men jumping out of the airplanes with parachutes. Then they show you tanks falling out of the airplanes with parachutes. That all looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> what they don't show you is when that guy hit the ground, that tank lands on the ground. <laughs> Crazy world, everybody's sick. Mm -hmm. What else do I have on here? Uh -huh. I got to go home and take my Christmas tree down there. <laughs> the world is sick. Everybody's crazy. And I don't care where you go, you find that people say and do stupid things. Did you know that? Did you know that? What's your name, Junior? <laughs> Eddie, have you been to the doctor lately? They say some stupid. You know, I'm reading about doctors the other day. You know how they immunize a disease? They give you a little bit of the disease. That's how they, now who thought of this? They give you, Eddie, it's like you walk in the doctor's office and the doctor would say, well, Eddie, you don't have gonorrhea. <laughs> but I want you to meet Nurse Jones. <laughs> She's gonna give you just a little bit of it, huh? <laughs> Two Jews, a Mexican, and a black walked into a bar. Bartender said, y'all get the fuck out of here. That's it. <laughs> I tell half a joke <laughs> In any case, you're going to have a real good show tonight. I think we got like 500 more comedians. <laughs> I want you to stick around until Eddie leaves. Eddie? <laughs> you eating those peanuts, right? I don't know. Where are you from, Eddie? Brooklyn. All right. Wow. Tough guy right here. A lot of good people from Brooklyn. Yeah. So I'm going to go home now. Do me a favor. Enjoy all the other comedians. Thank you very much for my time. Thank you. Uh, George Wallace.